Now, this is Virginia delegate Ibrahim Samira. He's a Muslim, a Democrat. You've probably heard his name this week. He's the one who interrupted the president's remarks at an event in Jamestown. President, you can't send us back. Virginia is our home. And the delegate was escorted out of the audience shortly after. That happened two days ago. Now, in those 48 hours, Ibrahim Samira has had to tell police about death threats made against him. He talked with our Mike Valerio. We're at a turning point in not just Virginia's history, but American history. Delegate Ibrahim Samira chose to challenge the president, holding three signs telling him to go home, deport hate, and reunite families. And I get up. At that point, there was no room for me to sit down. I couldn't let anybody cover up for systemic discriminations of any kind. Delegate Samira spoke to us over the phone, traveling as strong emotions continue to pour into his email and social media accounts. He says the virtual vitriol is now at a point where he's getting Virginia Capitol Police involved. There's a lot of uh, legitimate, uh, threatful hate out there. Towards uh, you? Uh, to Towards me personally, a lot of emails that I said that I got telling me to go back home uh, and all sorts of snide remarks insinuating a deep level of violence. And uh, and when you say deep level of, uh, pardon me, Delegate, when you say deep level of violence, has that reached death threats at this point? There, uh, we do have, we do have screenshots of people uh, threatening death. Yes. But only five months after his election, Samira says this is the fight he signed up for. Systemic discrimination it doesn't have a party. Uh, it's part of our system here in the United States, and we have to be able to do our very best to stand up against it and work towards its resolve. And Republicans started fundraising because of that event, Samira taking on the president. Emails to GOP donors claim that Samira is anti-Semitic, claims that Samira has vehemently denied. Adam.